Hello and welcome to a video review of uh, Fun Girl Reaction figures. These are sort of done in the style of the classic 3.75 inches action figures of the olden days. We have Predator uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 pack right here. Now I got all 7 in a little bag. The price wasn't the cheapest but I'm not quite, it's in that realm where it seems a bit cheaper than normal. Maybe it's because they couldn't sell them, it's just old stock. Or it is a bootleg, but if these are bootlegs, then uh, they, I've looked, looked up some pictures online, looks very close to the official thing, and these on their own are actually very good quality as well. So I don't know if they're bootlegs or not, so um, yeah. So basically, the idea of this thing is making simple figures just like in, in the past, sort of 7.75 inches, just like you know, you see many styles figures in this style, and the only articulation is you know, the leg goes up. Down, a little top there for you know sticking them onto those studs to pose them. The hand goes almost around with the little thing there, blocking it. This one can go all the way around. And the head supposedly you can turn, but because of the Predator's helmet, it's really hard to turn. So, oopsies. Now, I actually got this for the uh, the purpose of again removing the heads and using them as sort of like Lego customs. But I'm still gonna do that. But at first, when I saw these, I thought these were just like soft vinyl stuff, just like the Camerider stuff. But nope, this is hard. Uh, plastic for the most part anyway uh, so here is standard predator uh, the the text down there is stamped pretty well it's very uh, what's that word readable so that'd be audible I think and uh, the uh, the arms and legs are softer material so there's this gun as well I think this one can actually pop up quite easily the glue is not too tight on this but yeah so this is standard predator uh, paint jumps on is Decent, uh, obviously very toyish, uh, not the most accurate colouring, but uh, the moulding has actually got a lot of details going on. The uh, the claws there are soft, very soft material, so you're not afraid of uh, poking yourself. But yeah, uh, the all the joints are relatively tight, you near know, snug, and um, this is just yeah, it's a pretty cool little uh, figurine of the Predator. Um, like I said, the more details on this is very excellent, and depending on how you paint it, you can do really do a lot of uh, with this. So I can stand pretty well right there, we just stand there. Now, of course, there's a lot of different color variants coming with. Like I said, there's seven of these, so um, let's stick with the normal ones first and then move on. Uh, so here, here is the same body, pretty much, same paint, just a different head with his mouth right there. Oh, his head's turning pretty well. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, head's turning pretty well. But there he is. You are, you are one ugly motherfucker. Well, there's a better thing, so one must say that line. Sorry, kids. Uh, not, yeah, not too sorry, though. <laughs> uh, parents are like, <gasps> well, this is YouTube after I was supposed to be 18 to be watching it. God. Uh, but yeah, um, he still thinks he's like, wearing like slippers. It's kind of funny, like tribal slippers. <laughs> but yeah, the body is entirely the same. It's mostly the head. Uh, his face here does look really goofy because, um, I don't know, the jaws, because the jaws go out and because it's like a Designed to be look like to look like a sort of cheapish toy, and it's you know meant to be a bit cheapish anyway. Uh, they, you know, there's supposed to be a lot of space between his little mouth claws uh, and the actual mouth, but because it's sort of cheapish design, the mouth is actually pulled forward, makes him look sort of weird. Because the mouth mouth should be about just about maybe half uh, half a millim like a millimeter back inside, with the jaws actually you know hanging outside of his face. But nope. So yeah, that looks a bit weirder, and the paint is also not so good on the head. I think these might be bootlegs. And here's another one that's much better, the mouth open version. Um, because uh, they're here, they actually mold this tiny little teeth there, which is cool. And they actually mold the, mouth, mold the mouth much closer to the to the face, which makes them look more natural. This one looks way better than the uh, closed mouth version. Okay, uh, next uh, we have this one, which is sort of the golden predator, I guess. He's got golden helmet, golden armor, golden claws and stuff. It's sort of lime green paint overall. Um, again, this is very reminiscent of styles in the past, where they would just take, uh, where figures would be painted slightly differently to their movie counterpart, probably because uh, they were painted, um, you know, they saw designs of the concept art and not the actual movie uh, before they had to produce the toys, because you know, time is money, so. Um, they'll look a bit different. This reminds me of something like that. Uh, but the weird thing is he still, he still has the tiny little skulls hanging there, but um, it's not been painted, so it looks a bit weird. Sort of, uh, they just want you to try and ignore it, that there's something there. 
because uh, yeah, they save a lot of money producing because every, every single one of them using since apart from those extra heads, uh, most of them use the same mold. Okay, now that we go to a semi-transparent one. This is him exiting his uh, um, cloak. And this one does look pretty nice, apart from the silver paint, the rest of him is uh, well transparent, but you can still see where the plastic joins on the body, which is a bit off-putting. Um, this isn't meant to be fully transparent, but the next one you'll see is, is meant to be fully transparent, and from the photos I've seen online, uh, it's not as the, the little pegs inside the body aren't as obvious. I'm thinking with this one as well, uh, would the uh, official one be less obvious that there's little pegs inside, because I, I'm not sure. Uh, these are bootlegs or not because they're really high quality, you know, in comparison to what you would expect. Speaking of transparent, here is the transparent one, just like the official one does have green spatter all over him. Um, I don't know if uh, every one of these will have slightly different green splattered all over, but uh, fully transparent Predator is pretty cool, I guess. Mm, it's pretty nice. And the green there so would definitely uh, be his blood because that's the color of the Predator. Predator's blood, so he's been hit by still trying to cloak. But I no one can see me. We can see your blood! Oh. <laughs> so, there, there he is. Okay, and finally, we have um, Heat Signature Predator, which uh, the green is nice, but the paint job is sort of eh. Like, it just looks a bit silly because. Um, oh, he's only painted on the front as well, the back not painted. But uh, why, why is his middle less heat? Then his side, or is the yellow meant to be the hotter part? I don't know, it's always a bit different. Mm, but yeah, it's uh, of course it's a cool idea, you know, this trademark put as a heat signature thing, heat vision, like um, heat sensitive vision. So, you know, they're gonna have to do it. Mm. So there you have it, there's, a, there's seven Predators, all oh, pretty much apart from two different heads, uh, all of them have the same mold, just different painted, different plastics put into the mold. Uh, I don't know if these are real or not, they, have, they seem very real and they are very high quality. I got all of these for 120 Hong Kong dollars, no packaging like the uh, official images, but uh, you never know because sometimes sellers do remove packaging and just sell them on the bag just to save on space or it's like leftover stock no one's buying anyway, so let's save on space to put it in a little baggie so people think, oh this is better value, sell it for slightly cheaper. Um, 120 for this is definitely worth it. If you're a fan of the Predator or you just like old sort of sci-fi action figures from the past and you're in, in that style, then these are different figures. They don't come with any accessories, but uh, the hands are molded in the way that you can probably peg something in there uh, quite easily. So, uh, decent Predators, uh, the paint jobs are very retro style, so overall uh, I enjoy these. Uh, I will miss the bodies a little bit after I've dissect these figures for my Lego custom purposes. Uh, the heads might be just a bit bigger than what I need, but I'm gonna try one anyway and see how it looks. Maybe if I have some heavy armor on the Lego body, it might look proportion-wise might look a bit better. But predators are meant to be a bit taller than uh, people anyway, so a bigger head will make them a bit taller and still make sense, maybe. Hmm. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye.